Florida is one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, with unique ecosystems that house thousands of different species. From the Everglades to the coral reef, everywhere you turn is teeming with life. However, all of that's at risk. More and more, we see the degradation of these unique ecosystems as humans cause devastating climate change and destroy natural habitats. Real estate developed on what was once lush mangrove forests. Cities pollute nearby bodies of water and cars release toxic fumes into the atmosphere. All of this is contributing to an unsustainable level of corruption to the natural way of life and the consequences are mind boggling. There are over 120 threatened and endangered species in Florida, largely due to human activity. Keystone species such as the white-tailed deer, sharks, and even mangroves are dying, causing entire communities to suffer as a result. For example, sharks are an apex predator of the ocean and provide extremely valuable services. They help keep marine ecosystems healthy by eating diseased and dying fish, as well as controlling the population. However, their population has rapidly declined because of overfishing, which is due to both hunger and general fear. Without them to regulate the coastline, there has been an increase in large fish that would be their prey, causing the rapid decline of smaller marine animals that would feed on coral and algae, leading to a devastating boom. The elimination of mangrove forests are also a huge risk to the balance of life. Mangroves are the very thing that create islands and become nurseries of baby fish, but they're being mowed down for the sake of more houses. Without their support, less juveniles are able to make it to adulthood, causing a population of dozens of species to diminish. These changes affect humans, too. If we lose our natural resources, there will be a massive crash to our economy. Fishermen will find their nets empty, and those in the service industry will lose their primary source of income, as millions of people visit Florida each year in the hopes of experiencing its beautiful biosphere. Efforts are being made to prevent such a fallout. Research institutes such as Moat Marine Labs are attempting to grow coral that would then be transplanted onto nearby reefs in the hopes of returning them to their natural states. Moat Marine Laboratory is an independent, nonprofit marine research lab. Um, we actually started as a shark research facility, but now we do a lot of different things. And down here in the Keys, we're focused on coral reef research and restoration. We are literally planting live corals on the reef. <laughs> um, so we're hoping to make a lot of positive change for the reef environment here in the Keys, um, and we've seen some good results so far. A coral reef is essentially thousands and thousands of years of these tiny little animals just building houses. <laughs> um, so coral is an animal related to jellyfish and sea anemones, so it's sort of soft and gelatinous. Um, and stony corals, or reef building corals, build a hard calcium carbonate skeleton. So they basically build their own house around themselves. And then they build their own house, but they only live on the top floor. So they sort of keep growing up and out and up and out and up and out. Um, but they grow really, really slowly. So um, when you go out on a reef and you see a big coral head like this big, it could literally be 10,000 years old. Other organizations help in the rescue of injured or threatened animals. One such example would be the Marathon Turtle Hospital, which helps rehabilitate sea turtles who are either hit by boats, diseased, or made sick by human pollution. It's not unusual for sea turtles to be struck by boats. In fact, hundreds are hit every year and few are fortunate enough to be saved by organizations such as the Turtle Hospital. Oftentimes, these strikes cause permanent scarring that destroys a sea turtle's ability to dive, a phenomenon commonly called bubble bud. Those who experience this are given weights to help them swim and must be kept in ca captivity for the rest of their lives. Turtles and other marine animals also face jeopardy from commercial fishing. Large creatures such as turtles, dolphins, and sharks may accidentally be caught in nets, leading to drowning. As much as 40% of the animals we catch may be bycatches, creatures we hadn't meant to trap. It is vital for us to continue trying to improve the environment around us and mitigate the damage we're causing our ecosystem. The right way forward is through conservation and preservation.